Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Bug. How you doing? Playing some more Star Wars today. It's actually been a couple of weeks. Hi. Um, a couple of weeks since we played um, Knights of the Old Republic, so I'm looking forward to this. You're hungry? When are you, uh, when are you getting food? Um, so, yeah, like I said, it's been a couple of weeks, so I'm going to have to try and refresh my memory. I think I'm on Dantooine. Just exploring after just getting our lightsaber. Whenever Callie's done in the bathroom, he's gonna order food. Nice. Um. So uh, we might as well jump into the game. Uh, let me. He got his overtime pay today. Awesome. Let me turn off this music. Ooh, nice. That's good. Okay, we don't need this music on anymore. Close out of that. We don't need that open. You haven't had this much in ca you haven't had this much cash in years. I don't have any cash right now. <laughs> cash is not something that I possess. Okay, so we should be good now to load the game. And which one of these is the latest time? This one. <laughs> it's very odd to have cash, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Got it. Oh wait. Know what we haven't got? We haven't got ourselves our in-game audio. There we go. Now we should have our in-game audio. I can't hear it. There we go. Okay, so um, I think, well, we ended last time right next to the grove, but I don't really want to go this way. Now it's too loud in my ear. I kind of want to go the other way first. Am I able? Oh, I still can't use knight. I'm wearing the wrong armor. I can't, can't use that. Okay, so I want to go this way first. Because the grove is ultimately where we want to go. So you need $20 for a haircut. Oh man, I wish I could get a haircut. $20 for laundry. $20 for the piercer. And that's it. So you've got 140 left. <laughs> Don't mind me just swinging my lightsaber around. It's all good. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, what? What are we oh yeah -ing? Find out about why you were getting the vaccine with a brute. No, I haven't actually spoken to anyone. I booked it online, so I'm just choosing to like just decide that it's the epilepsy. Well, technically, we looked it up, and I'm, I don't actually have epilepsy because it's only been one seizure. So technically, it's just known as a seizure. We found that out. So I'm not actually epileptic. But it's most likely. Also, uh, uh, let me know if I need to turn this back because it looks far, rather loud on my uh, phobia. I haven't actually changed any settings, so I'm not quite sure why it's so much louder this time. I'll turn it down a little bit further. Maybe that. Is that better? Ooh. T4. I'm hoping the dialogue is still audible. Because obviously, fighting is very loud in this game. Unless, wait, can I turn like sound uh, we turn sound effects down voiceover up and then maybe that'll work then if we put this back up to where it to this point see how that goes um oh wait this took me to the grove as well <laughs> 43 wait 
T3 or T4? T3. T3, M4. Wait, this isn't where I wanted to be. Well, technically this is where I want to be, but I thought I was going to go to somewhere else first. How do I get to the other house? Oops, I didn't mean to use a power strike. You've been watching- oh, wait, I missed the first one. You're looking into some, learning some animation software, you think? Stuff for, like, stream overlays. You've been watching some YouTube videos. That's cool! I'm going to go back down to this one, and we'll, we'll do it here, like this. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to... wait, which... Oh, before I mess this up, which one is quick save? Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted. Quick save is F4. Probably going to look into general animation as well, maybe. We can play around with some animated alerts when we get to that point. That would be cool. I would like some animated alerts, like, that aren't just stock animations. I mean, I like the, uh, I do like a couple of mine. Like, Pikachu's pretty cool, like, and uh, I like the Dragonite, but obviously, if you were to do them, you could, we could have them custom to us. Ooh, animated lance. That would be really cool, actually. Oh, wow, I'm nearly dead. I'm still nearly dead. Oh, I can't use it yet. Too soon. I died. <laughs> well, it's a good job I like saved like a second ago, isn't it? Those menus are so small. I guess. Uh, maybe we should attack the guys that are in front of us first. No? Okay. That's fine. Just keep attacking that guy. I'm sure I'm sure that will work out for us. Oh, well, that's not good. To be fair, I can't really change the menu size now because I um, can't change my resolution. And the, changing my resolution is the only way to uh, um, change the menu sizes. Uh, but if I change the resolution, it won't work. Like my, st you won't be able to see the whole game. Okay, T three, you can uh, heal up as well. Okay, let's try that again, but do it better this time. <laughs> That's what Boppet always used to tell me. Try again, but better. Okay, maybe it's better to fight these guys. Oh. He doesn't even have a weapon. He's using his fists against a lightsaber. What is he doing? Oh my god, that guy can jump high. <laughs> Let me put a shield up as well. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Oh, he's running away. Okay, there we go. We should be protected from the blasters for a bit. Not the guy with the... The double-bladed sword, though, he is still able to hit me for a lot of damage. But the blaster guy, he can't hit me right now. Now he can. My shield is gone. Okay, now I'm hurt. I really wish I had... Hmm, maybe I should concentrate on tree injury a bit. Because these uh, med, packs, med packs really aren't doing much for me. Uh, Mandalorian data pad. Nice. 
Uh, let's check out the data pad here. Uh, Mandalorian data pad. Jag, did you remember not to take the T uh, XT model bike count today? There was something funny with one of the intakes, and I thought I it could jam. Ha! Huh. Consider yourself lucky. If someone was dumb enough to take that thing out, he would have plowed right into the ground within a kilometre. Wait, which one did he take out? Another Mandalorian data pad. Is it the same thing? Does it say the same thing? Oh no, wait. Jag went missing in Sector B. Then Reza saw someone moving south of the... Take a couple troops and find out who it is. If they look suspicious, terminate. Okay. Uh, well, that's slightly better. Hmm. Maybe I'll get rid of that. We don't really need it. Um, you can have Brezhik's armband. Can have that. Okay. T3, have we got anything new for you? Oh, you ran out of those things, I guess. No, okay, cool. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. Can I see, like, what model I'm going to use? Oh. <laughs> um, okay, so... Um, maybe we'll do the Juhani thing right now. And then we can go to the Chantel... I think it's Chantel? Um, area after this? I, I hope... I always struggle with this fight. I do always struggle with this fight. Um, so we'll try our best here, but I can't say for certain that I'm definitely going to be able to do this right now. Another... Okay, let me save. Because I need to do this right. I need to do the menus right, or the dialogue right. If you don't do the dialogue right, things don't go so well. She just froze he, my droid. Also, I've got my lightsaber as if I've got it out, but my blade's not out. Look, <laughs> holding it as if I'm actually going to fight. Okay. Um, Juhani, we want to shield up. I don't know how well a melee shield does against lightsabers, but... Oh, yeah, well, not very well, apparently. Okay, she's not too tough. That's good, at least. Defensively, she's not tough. I need, I need a way of turning up the vo the voices. I can't pause it while I'm in here. Because they're really quiet compared to everything else. Yeah, I'm gonna go into the advanced. I can't do it while I'm in dialogue though. I'll do it and I'll do it afterwards. Um, who are you? And this is my grove. That's better. This is the place of my dark power. It just this means everything is else is loud now as well. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. Um. You embrace the dark side. Why? When I slew my master, Quattro, I knew I could never go back. But now I have my dark power, power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I have thought. Uh, uh, the dark side is never powerful enough. What is it you want? Why do you bother? <laughs> I've decided to slay you and remove the taint. No, I'm not saying that. That's the dark side way of doing things. Um, I just want to talk. Talk? You who have beaten me so easily just want to talk? Of course. I do not believe it. Kill me now while you still have the power. I have no desire to kill you, Juhani. You. This is why I do persuade. I, do not. I am pathetic. I sit here and think myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back, were jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. Um, 
it's always best to do these persuade ones if you've got good persuade because they're exactly what you need. I thank you for your kind words, Jedi. I seem to still have much to learn, both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. It's not your fault. I only wish things could have been different. If she were alive My persuade's really good, so I can just do so the persuades each time. So much I would apologize for. How can the council ever take me back with what I've done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. Do not worry, they will surely take you back. I convince them that I am truly repentant. I am willing to forsake the dark side. Maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could this be possible after what I've done? Um, of course it would be. They would always accept you. They accepted me. I'm the the Dark Lord of the Sith. Submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. Oh you will. Don't you worry, Johnny. And you'll be along for the ride. And I'm stuck. <laughs> Okay, uh, let me just see. Let me just click this and then we'll go into the advanced options uh, on the sounds. What? Well, those advanced those advanced options are not helpful. <laughs> um, okay, so Maybe we turn this down even further. Turn the music down a bit as well. I, I'm hope. The problem is I don't know whether the battle sounds are classed as effects or not. I'm hoping they are. We'll find out. We'll, we'll get into a fight fairly shortly, I reckon. There's plenty of people who want to fight you out here. The sa Sandril. Sandril, not Sentient. Sentil. Yes, yeah, see? Look, there's already some stuff to fight over here. No, they're not. They don't count as effect. They don't count as effect. Why is this not separate? These things are so loud. I'm gonna die. Hopefully I've got a good balance here now of Oh I'm whoa 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 whoa. Why are you blue? Or green I should say. Why is there a green one? <laughs> Why is he green? <laughs> what is what what what? Why? I'm running out of medkits. Med packs. At least it's not attacking me right now. Why were you green? I want to know why you're green. There's another green. There's more green ones over there, actually. I can't move. They're not normally green. I guess it's my texture. Like. My um, textures have changed the colour um, when I've applied like a texture pack or something. Not a texture pack, but like texture update. Okay, there's nothing over here. There's a droid over here though. This is the droid we were asked to look out for. C842. Oh. You 
of running from her? Is she crazy? Is it? Do I need to like try and not talk while they're talking? Voice of the That's. Hmm. I don't know how to. I don't know how to like. The battle sounds appear to come under the same part as talking in the volumes. I think it would be best if I were no longer. I don't know what I just clicked on to be honest. New people living through dark things. Will you destroy me? Hmm. Fine, I'll destroy you and tell her why you did it. No, you should go back to her. I'll destroy you and tell her you're still out there. I think the bottom one is a dark side. Middle one is neutral and top one is light side, I think. Thank you, kind sir. You have my eternal gratitude. Or not light side at all. It's just neutral on that one as well. I, I like how he was actually going to try and put up a fight. If I didn't kill him then... So is it is is this a good level? I, I guess I could drop it down by one notch like that. Maybe this is a good level. I oh, you can't move again. Food's ordered. Nice. Okay, we're, we're going to go into this crystal cave. Because this is where we'll be able to find different crystals to be able to change my lightsaber colors. As well as these weird Kinrath, which I really, really don't like. They're so creepy looking. Really? Now it's happening every time. Every fight. Okay, let me turn this down so it's just their screams that are loud. Like my lightsaber is a bit quieter now. Okay. Wow. It's R two D two. What even is that? <laughs> it's a pressure cooker. Fair enough. Oh. I started attacking before my lightsaber had actually fully come out just then.
I got a lightsaber crystal. Oh yeah, I forgot you get eggs from the uh, you get crystals from the eggs. It's great. This combat is interesting. I didn't realize it was intermittent or How old is this game? Uh 2003 I think. Uh, cool. Just gonna get dressed so you can go get food. Okay. Ah, it looks like I don't get a crystal every egg. Okay. Just some of the eggs. I'm not sure why there are crystals in the eggs. To be honest, that just seems a little bit strange. Okay, I think we I think we've got everything we can from here. I don't know what crystals we've just picked up. But we've just picked up a blue bonda, green, red uh, rubat, rubat, yellow. Oh man. I didn't get a purple. Oh man. I'm really disappointed now. You might go downstairs tomorrow and get your hair trimmed. Fair enough. Oh. I missed your first message. Now there's cash in your wallet. Gotcha. That thing stick... T T3, get out of the way. Get out of the way, T3. I wanted to see something. I wanted to see if its tongue's sticking out. <laughs> it's tongue sticks out when it dies. Uh, bit nerve wracking. Never gone by yourself. Fair enough. Aha! Looks like they did bring the uh, broken. Oh well, I was hoping for a force jump there, but okay. Well, we should probably do this. <laughs> Why did I miss that guy out? <laughs> oh my, they do a lot of damage. Let me uh, get a melee shield up. There we go. Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> they got rid of my shield straight away. I'm gonna die. I died. Oh, come on, Kandoros. You can't be missing like that. We'll level up. For these two, anyway.
Uh, okay, so what we're we doing on here? We're doing tree injury and demolition. Demolition's our main one, I guess, that we're trying to do. I'm trying to remember all the different um, styles I want these characters to be doing. Okay, let's grab this. Okay, T3, you are computer use and repair security. Okay. And I guess we wanted you to do your demo. What do we need? I guess if we get your demolitions up, we won't. Like, the other person can just be a randomer. Like, they can do other stuff for us. Um, let's do that. Oh, I got a level up as well. I just was dead before. Gotta do my persuade. Oh, this is good. Stasis. Can actually freeze people. Hi, babe. How are you doing? Oh, I'm stuck. Med pack. Pair kit. Ooh, a load of mines and some credits. I'm good, thanks. Did, oh, okay, I was going to say, none of these guys actually have some stuff, but they do. Another Mandalorian data pad. Let's check this one out. See what this one says. Oh, it's the same one again as that one. Okay. Um. Might as well grab that. Ooh. Hmm. While you got, while you're here, we might as well give you that. To be fair. Oh my god, there's a load of green ones. Why are they all green? <laughs> this is what stasis can do as well, by the way. <laughs> oh, look at that. Frozen into place. Oh, this one's a white one. This one's albino. Oh, I died again. Oh no, T3. It just attacked me and I got healed, not got hurt. Well, at least we got Candorus around with him, with us. Sure. He he survives. I think I actually yeah, I was, <laughs> just was being a bit delayed. What? Sure. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Okay, is there anything over here? No. Okay. That river is flowing very quickly. Okay. It looked like I could go down there, and I was like, I don't ever remember being able to go down there before. Okay, so this is the other house. We will eventually have to go into these houses. Uh, there's a like a side mission for us to do here. But we probably can't get in here just yet. Yeah. I think you have to go back to the council and actually become a Jedi before you do anything here. This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? My weapons are my authority. I'll be going now. Please leave immediately. Only those on official family business are permitted You don't look too tough, though. To be honest, I think I could take you. It's not like the Metali ones where they've got guns. You're just a protocol droid.
I think I think we might have actually explored the whole of Dantooine now. Just gonna uncover the rest of this map. I'm not sure where this takes us to. To the grove. Whereabouts? Where? Oh! <laughs> These ones are the right colour. I don't know what's with like what what's with the uh, green ones. I don't know what's causing them to be green. Like it's not all of them either. It's weird. Huh. Okay. This must be this. Yeah. Okay. This is Metali. Okay. This is the way we didn't come last time. Well, not last time, but earlier, I guess. Okay. There is actually a little bit of a side thing here, which I actually always struggle with. <laughs> all right. Trying to work this out, you got to be a detective. We're going to put our Sherlock Holmes hat on here. Prentice, your arrival here is well timed. Who are you? I am Boluk, a Jedi from the Enclave. I was sent by the Jedi Council to investigate a killing that took place here a few hours ago. Communication does not pose a problem, as both the suspects and I speak basic. I was going to handle this case myself. But now that you are here, this could be an excellent opportunity for you to demonstrate how well you have been learning your lessons at the Academy. Though you are not yet a full Jedi, perhaps you could assist me in sorting out the truth from the lies. Okay, what do you want me to do? Listen to the stories given by the two suspects. I have brought an information retrieval droid with access to the archives both at the Jedi Enclave and the planetary capital. I will use my wisdom and experience to offer you some guidance, but I will not solve this ca the case for you. There is little benefit if you do not solve this problem yourself. Consider each man's account and check the facts with the information droid. Once you have gathered all the evidence, you will need run through the possible scenario with me. If you are unable to come to a satisfactory resolution, then I will take these men to the Enclave and deal with this myself. According to the accounts of the participants, these three men were out here in the field together earlier, before the clouds broke. I find that very odd, for most people would seek shelter indoors when the sky is filled with dark storm clouds, as it was earlier today, but that is not the most puzzling aspect of the case. The dead man, Kaldanetic, was shot in the back with a blaster rifle. A rifle was found lying near his body with bloodstains on it. It has been sent back to the Enclave for analysis. Two other men were found at the scene when I arrived. One was Haddon Guild, Gold. He was unarmed. The other was Riddick Lusoff, who was carrying a hunting laser. Both men say they did not do anything and that they came across the body, but both also accused the other. Obviously, there is more to this than what we have been told. Is there anything else I should know? There is one last thing. When I arrived, Haddon was holding his side and Rickard was favouring one of his legs. You would do well to remember this as we progress through the case. Is there anything else you need? I will remain here while you question the witnesses. Okay. Detective time. I'm going to speak to the information droid first. Greetings, See what he says. You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help him with this problem. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi Enclave and the central government facilities here in Dantooine. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Cold and Netic, Rickard Lusoff, and Hand and Gold. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Netic. Is there any information you require? Okay. 
What did you find out about the body? My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you okay. need? Okay, three hours ago. Uh, tell me about these planes. These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriars are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Cat hounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 cattle mobbed attacks on settlers by cat hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the plains. Small farms and holdings dot the plains and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information okay, you need? Okay, interesting. Um, I guess that's all I can ask for right now. Very well. I will be here to assist you. Okay. Uh, can I... Where's the body? Can I examine the body? The body of Kauda, he was apparently shot from behind with a blaster. He looks very mangled. Okay, let's uh, let's talk to Han um, Han Handon Hand something like that. Ah, greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. Baluk, I'm that's how you say his name. Perhaps you've heard of me. Nope. Well, I presume you wish to hear my story then. I shall tell you, of course. Is he famous? There's not much to it. I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty of murder. You see, mm -hmm. I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I. Lying liars always tend to t say more than they need to. Calder lying on the ground, dead. Like, they go in. If somebody's lying, they generally will tell you more information than you originally asked for. They'll they'll try and create a story more than you actually need to try and cover up for their lie. We didn't need to know any of that running thing, like, because of the speeder. That was not something we needed to know. But remember it, because we will need it later on. Something is wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Hmm. Now... Please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. Hmm. How can I be of further assistance? Okay. What did you see? Well, actually, I, I didn't see anything. I was over across the bridge. I heard a shot and came over. I can tell you I was sure surprised to see Calder's body lying there. I just got here when I saw Rickard coming out of the rocks holding his blaster. I was terrified. I had no idea what he was going to do, so I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave. Master Baloo came out here with his droid and started questioning us. I, I think he really doesn't understand what's going on. I hope that you'll be able to make a more informed decision and get me out of here soon. I have things I have to do. Good for you. So do I. How can I be of further assistance? Okay. Why were you out here? I was taking my daily constitutional. I just happened to be running by when I heard a shot. I ran over and found Calder's body lying there. Do you often run around the yes, planes? Quite often. I generally prefer running to anything else. Can't stand speeders. Can't stand speeders. Body will breed a healthy mind, as I always say. <laughs> Remember the speeders, though, because it's important. Um, you're holding your side. Are you injured? Injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bat, though. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. No, I don't think you did. Hmm. Okay. How can I be of further assistance? Okay, nothing. Okay, we've done everything so far. Okay, Rickard. Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Well, I was out hunting Iriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. Take note of that bit. Walk over here and find Handed standing it's important. over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handed to the prison? So you to. shot at a target you couldn't see. You step out, no areas, but a dead body and somebody else standing over it. That's quite suspect, to be honest. <laughs> you might not have meant to do it, but it sounds like he's the one that did the shooting. What did you see? Well, I was out hunting Iriaz south of here, and I saw one over by the bridge. 
The sun was pretty much right behind it, though, so I couldn't see it none too clearly. I shot, and when I came over here, I found Handon standing over the body, holding his side. There wasn't an eerie as in sight. I think he might have taken it. Calder must Where would he have put a whole eerie as? a rifle lying close to the body. <laughs> Bullock's got that now. Mine, too. I want that back. You'll get it back, don't you worry. Well, unless we're arresting you, of course. So, what do you want to know? Um, why were you out here? You already, oh, I'm just asking questions. Was hunting some areas. Haven't seen many in the area recently, but with those calf hounds acting up. But they're still around. Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one. Like I said before, I shot. Pow! It went down. But when I come over here, there's Handon standing over the body, and the areas was gone. Now I don't have nothing to do with it. So can I go now? Apart from the fact that the area as you just shot at has disappeared and there's a dead body where it was. It's quite... It, the evidence is pointing toward him being the one that shot him. So, what do you want to know? Uh, Baluk said you were limping. Are you hurt? At least he's not trying to cover up the fact that he's got an injury. Okay, um, I think that's everything. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk to the information droid now. Is there any other information you need? Yes. Yes, there is. <sighs> okay, no, never mind. Let's talk to a Baluk. Yes. Is there something I can help you uh, in this investigation? Do to help. Uh, I want to discuss the murder. Very well. We should start at the beginning. If we find the truth behind each piece of the puzzle, we will no doubt solve the case. Haddon said that he was nearby and heard a shot and ran over, only to find Calder already dead. He said Rickard came out of the shadow of the rocks, holding a blaster in his hands. Rickard said that he was hunting Iriaz, saw one through the glare of the sun and shot at it. It is possible that Rickard may have shot Calder accidentally and Haddon may have found the body, but that seems very unlikely, a very unlikely explanation. It sounds like the most logical explanation, actually. It is more likely that at least one of them is lying. Why? I don't understand why he thinks one of them has to be lying. Like, yes, they could be lying, but... It's quite likely that they're not. <laughs> Obviously, one of these men is not telling us something. But where does the li truth lie? But yeah, like, that explanation just there suggests exactly, like, what happened. Rickard was hunting, couldn't see because of the glare, shot Calder by accident, uh, and then Handon found the body. Quite self-explanatory. However, you'll find out in a sec that it's not true, and there is a liar here. Rickard. Rickard is the liar in this instance. And you'll see why in a sec. Why do you believe that? Okay, the glare of the sun. Remember that bit. That's what That was the important bit to pick up on. It was cloudy. There was no sun glare. <laughs> he was being rude to me. Yes, well done. It was very cloudy this morning. If it had happened as Rickard said, the sun would not have been visible at the time of the killing. You seem to have caught Rickard in a bit of a lie. It seems I was correct in assuming you could help me with this case. This lie doesn't prove Rickard is guilty, but I, th I think you have taken the first step in unravelling this mystery. We should proceed on to the next point. We, have, we need to find a motive for the killing. Maybe you should talk to the men about their relationship with the victim. If there is anything else you need, I will remain here while you question the witnesses. Okay. Okay, so. Uh, we'll do things in the same order. We'll do information droid. See if he has anything else. Yes, here we go. He has got a couple more. Okay. 
The Southwood Speeder rental business has records that over the past seven weeks, a speeder had been rented by Mr. Nettick and Mr. Gould. Is there any other information? The guy who said that he doesn't like speeders is renting a speeder with the dead guy. Okay. According to the municipal authorities near the Garrow spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in the cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Nettick about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Cooper was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information mm, you okay. need? Um, I have more questions later. I will be here to assist you. Okay. How can I be of further assistance? Uh, we'll do this one. Why would someone want to kill him? Um, well, you see, Calder was involved in some pretty sordid business from time to time. More often than not, I've heard. Disreputable business practices, even more disreputable clients. Mm. I've even heard he had dealings with a hut. A hut here on Dante. There's a hut on Dante? Now, I bet you're wondering if I had any reasons to kill the man. Yes. But I tell you, I hardly knew him. Mm. I saw him once or twice, yes. And I've heard some pretty unkind things about him. But Aren't they renting a speeder together? Killing. You knew Calder better than you admit. You rented a speeder with him. But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. Where did that come from? My wife was cheating on me with him. Oh. I slept mm. in my own bed while I was in the next room. But, wow. much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. Hmm. How can I be of further assistance? See what happens if I say this one. I can block off, maybe, sure, but not kill him. Oh my. I hope you don't find that incriminating. You know, mm -hmm. Normally I'm not prone to outbursts like that, but Calder, Mr. Nettick, he was not a very nice person. Not a very nice person to me or my family. I had had my suspicions for several weeks, but had no proof until two days ago. It seems Calder is seeing my wife right under my nose. And he said he no didn't less. know the guy. Well, if you can't keep her, it's your own fault. But Candorous. I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving. Yeah, okay, we heard that. Just out run. Yeah. Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. This guy's very, like, he wants to help. He does want to help, to be fair. Whereas this guy just wants to get out of it. Okay, so we have that guy. Um, What's his name? What's your name again? Handon has, there's a very clear motive for murder. Let's see if Ricard has anything. No. Um, let's do... Did you know the victim? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slimeball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit-to-ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. So, what do you want to know? We'll do the cheating on you soon. Was well, not cheating on you, but cheating you. Um, we'll do. Why would somebody want to kill him? Jedi are so predictable. Always seeing some greater purpose behind everything, when the simple answer is usually the right one. Can't you see that it must have been Handon? I found him standing over the damned body. Answer the question. This is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this Baluk guy. Hey, I'm just asking questions, okay? You didn't answer that one. Which is interesting. Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital yes, you just told me that transport bit. company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years. 
And we've been doing just fine the way we are. You can deny it, but there was bad blood between right. you. What? Okay. Is there any other info? According to the municipal authorities, Murdergaro's baseball, there had been news of violent drunken activity in a cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Netic about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was to... <laughs> is there any... Okay. Hey. So why is he... Why is he denying it? So... Now I don't love... We've been... Okay, well... I guess there's not much to do with that. Okay, well, this step, clearly, well, not clearly, but both of them had a sort of motive. However, Handon had more of a motive. Yes, is there something I can do to help with this investigation? Um, yeah, I want to discuss the murder. We know Rickard lied about the sun blinding him while he was shooting, but we need more to go on. Let's examine the relationship of each man with the victim. Handon told me he barely knew the victim. On the other hand, Rickard and the victim were business partners. However, according to Rickard, they get al got along quite well on the surface. Neither man seems to have a motive for killing Kelder. Uh, that's where you're wrong. Handon is lying. Why did you believe that? Uh, he knew his wife was cheating on him. He was... Okay, this one here. Well, that certainly is a motive for murder. The case is taking shape. However, you mustn't jump to any quick conclusions. Perhaps we sh should now focus on the murder weapon itself. You might want to see the, what I information the witnesses and the information droid can provide you about the blaster found near the body. If there's anything else you need, I will remain here while you question the witnesses. Okay. You may leave if you wish, but... What are you talking about? I'm not trying to leave. What are you talking about? Is there any other information about? you need? Um, yes. Tell me about the weapon. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample other than the fact it did not belong to Korda. Is hmm. there any other information you need? Okay. Well, that's useless. Hey. Okay. How can I be of further assistance? Uh, is there anything else new? No. Okay, just this one. What do you know about the weapon found by the body? Blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. Who was in the house blast last week? Colder. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous calf hounds around. Even an eerie can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How hmm. can I be of further assistance? If you say so. Okay, so we know the weapon is... Handons, that's literally all we got from that, though. So, what do you want to know? Uh, this one here. That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for his Chani weapon. Okay. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. Ichanis make delicate weapons with too little firepower. <laughs> Lightweight stuff, if you ask me. <laughs> Having Kandras here is funny. Calder only had the one rifle, too. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. Is there any other information you need? We have really not got much to go on for this. Is Oh, yes we do. We've got this now, haven't we? I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. I have searched and searched, hmm. but I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. He did say he reported it stolen, right? Missing weapon report, Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there any other information? Okay, we'll need? take that back to Mr. Handon there. Saying, why did you not report it? I will be here to assist you. How can I be of further assistance? Uh, what? Okay, we'll try this. Hardly have enough money to afford a single, even an eerie. I would most of, how can I be? Okay. Of course. Uh, we don't got much here, but we'll go back to the look. Um, I want to discuss the matter. So, what have you determined about the weapon found by the body? Uh, the blaster is Handon's. He lied about it being stolen being stolen how do we know that though we don't know that do we 
The blaster is Hannon's, but he reported it stolen. This is what he says. But we don't know we don't know of the report. Maybe we... Do we do that? Because... Hmm. So we have caught Handon in a lie. Interesting. But I think we may need one final piece of the puzzle. Okay, I got it right. There was a blood sample on the weapon that has been sent back for analysis just before you arrived. Perhaps you could inquire with the information droid about it. Okay. Blood sample. So we've got... Rickard lying once, hand on line twice at the moment. Okay, blood sample. Yeah, we know that bit. We know. No. Okay, interesting. So, it's not Calder's blood. So, whose blood is it? Handon? Uh, you're holding your side, are you injured? Injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bathtub. <laughs> I run, I don't know if I mentioned that. Okay, we can't do anything else with that. Okay. So, what do you... Well... Right. Okay, well, none of those two... We really don't have much to go on this time. Other than we know it's not cold as blood. And Handel is lying about his limp. Or is holding his side, sorry. I assume the blood on the weapon belongs to the victim, but I want it to... I want to be thorough. What have you learned from the blood on the weapon? It didn't belong to the victim. That is surprising. So the blood must belong to one of the suspects. So which one? It's Handon's blood. Why do you believe that? He is clutching his side. Hmm, Handon has been moving oddly since I arrived. Perhaps we should examine him a little more closely. There is blood. Handon appears to have suffered some sort of blaster wound to his side. It would seem there is one logical scenario. Hannon killed Calder for having an affair with his wife. Rickard was out hunting and accidentally shot Hannon after he had killed Calder. I agree. I'm, I, I can't think of any other logical solution for this. I, no, they are both guilty. No, they are both guilty. Oh. That's the big brain one, isn't it? Because it was cloudy, Rickard knew he was shooting, maybe at Calder, but maybe at Handon. We don't know the relationship between Handon and Rickard. Let's do that one. We're going to big brain this. A bold conclusion. One most people would not arrive at. But we are not like most people. We are Jedi. Still, I would like to know how you came to this conclusion. We know Calder was having an affair with Handon's wife. But what possible motive could Rickard have for wanting Calder dead? Ricard thought Calder was cheating in him in business. It was just... I just have a hunch. No, we can't do that. He was also having an affair with Handon's wife. We have literally no evidence for that. Why is that even on the list? This one. Well, yes, well done. Both men had a reason to want Calder dead. This is my theory of the morning's events. Both men knew Calder would be out here this morning and each plotted to kill him. Handon found him and shot him because of the affair Calder was having with his wife. Shortly after, Rickard arrived on the scene. From a distance, he saw Handon and thought it was Calder, so he shot him in retaliation for the credits Calder had cheated him out of, of in their business. Handon would have dropped his blaster, the one we found at the scene, covered in blood. He probably thought Rickard was going to kill him, so he called us, hoping he could convince us it was Rickard. Oh, that is enough. The culpable culpability of both of you in the murder, an attempted murder, of Calder Neckett, is evident. Additionally, Rickard Lussoff 
can be charged with aggravated assault and attempted murder on, of Hand and Gold. I place you both under the arrest of the Jedi Order and will escort you to a holding facility in the Jedi Enclave. You have done well here. It is obvious you have been studying your lessons carefully. I will be sure to inform the Jedi Council of your performance in this little test. <laughs> Happily beeps. Thanks, T3. I like how it writes T3 like this. Good day, and may the Force be with you. We did it. As a kid, I could not get that. I had to use a guide. I had to use a guide to, to do that right. Cool. Okay. So let's go this way. Just to, just to fully explore. Because I think this is where we were before, though. I think we've been to this section. Oh, there's more. Right? There's some more Cathan, though. Oh, more Mandalorians as well. Oh no, it got saved. It's just slowed now. Try that again. See if we can actually freeze it. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna save so we don't have to do all that again. I don't want to, have to do that all over again. That would be that would be painful. Okay, I don't like the look of this. Okay. Now this is what I've been waiting for. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know. Wait, this guy has lightsabers? Are feared. You're holding a sword, not a lightsaber. Oh wait, we should probably do this. Oh my god, he did a lot of damage to say. Oh my. I don't think I can kill this guy. He is tough. I need more med packs. Wait, this. Oh, well, I died. We can take out this. We can take out this guy. Oh, my. Hmm. We should be okay. Because this guy is definitely tougher than those guys shooting me. Okay. We did that. Let me put my shield back on. And we will med pack it up as well. Oh my god, they are getting rid of my shield so quickly. Maybe we... Oh, I don't... Okay, well, we'll throw that grenade. We should be fine now, though. Oh, I don't have. I don't have my shield anymore. Oh my god, Candorus, that was a terrible shot. Shoot, stop shooting the floor. Aim up a bit. <laughs> Why are you shooting the floor? Candorus, aim better. At least T3 is hitting him. Oh, that was slightly better. There we go. Okay. Oh, I can't actually move. A red lightsaber? Oh, wait, is this a purple one? <gasps> we might have the purple lightsaber that we wanted. Wait, I'm sure there was another thing on the floor over here somewhere. 
Maybe not. Okay. Um, did we get a data pack? I can't tell what color that is. But we wanted two lightsabers anyway. Oh, no. It's blue again. We've got two blue lightsabers. But we did want two lightsabers. So we've got two lightsabers now. Um, uh, let me just see here. Uh, Mandalorian. You've met and slain the Mandalorian leader, Shir Shir Shirk. He liked to collect lightsabers and surely would have taken yours and your head had you not slain him. John would surely like to hear about this and should reward you as well. I don't need a reward. We're not in for this for rewards. Okay. I'm stuck. There we go. Okay, so we now just need to head back to the... Oh! Never mind, there's a cat hunter. We're so much more powerful now that we've got two lightsabers. This will be so much easier now. Oh, there's a load of Cathound around here again. Oh, no, no, there isn't. There's just one. Where do you go? Fly! Wait, what? I just saw something, like... Disappear, disappear over here. I can't lock onto this guy. Freeze. There we go. Cool. Now we can spin our double lightsabers. Not double. My dual dual lightsabers. Ooh, go me. Okay. So we need to talk to the woman on the way past. Oh, there's more Cathound here as well. The Cathound have all respawned. Yeah, not all of them, but some of them respond. I still miss. Am I stuck? Oh no, we're all good. Fly! Okay, this time I am stuck. <laughs> okay, so we can talk to this woman here and tell her about her droid. My droid is still missing. No, it's not. I can feel him like a hole in my aching heart. Hmm. I don't want to lie. My droid destroyed? No. No, this cannot be happening. I can't bear to live without him. I didn't have to explain that it was me. I guess she just walked off. Bye. Bye. Wait. Journal entry. We told Elise that her droid had been destroyed. She was devastated. She ran off towards the Jedi Enclave. Okay. Sure, we haven't seen the last of that then. Uh, let me just um, go in here. Let me just check to see what I want. Fortitude or Reflex. Uh, I don't think we need to change that. Um, do, do, do. Okay, the reason I did that was just so I know what I can, can and can't sell. See what you're selling, because I want to sell stuff. We don't need all this. We don't need that. We don't need that. Um, I'll keep these 
like clothey things. Don't need these. And we're only selling these anyway, so we don't need that. And we don't need that. What does he have to buy? Oh my god, that Cassus Fett armor. Oh, I really want that. For man uh, for uh, Candorus. I think that'd be really cool because I think because it's a Mandalorian armor. I think he's a Mandalorian. Well, he's a fat, so he's probably related to Django and uh, Boba Fett. So he's probably a Mandalorian. Um, I, th Ooh. I think Candorus wearing it actually puts the helmet on. Okay, let's speak to John though. Have you found the Mandalorian yes. yet? My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Oh, Here excuse you. I promised you. Uh, there is no need for a reward. No, please take it. This pitiful amount will never be enough for what you have done for me. Again, I thank you. Wait, did he not I let me sure not take it? Of your great deed. He actually wouldn't let me not accept a thousand credits. I'll take it. And light side points. Perfect. Hey, wait, how are we doing on the light side? Oh. We're looking good. Item lost. What did I lose? I wish you told me what I lost. I literally have no idea what I just lost. Wait, 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 wait. How? What? Why did I lose my Sith armor? Why was? That? Why did I just lose that? I lost my Sith armor for some reason. Huh? What? I'm so confused at why I why why I just lost that now. Like why now? Yes. Okay, whatever. Hello, kids, you honey. Wait, let's talk to You have done a great thing. One of our own had strayed, but you have returned you honey to the order. Mm -hmm. For this, you deserve the highest praise. Thanks, Balea. I must give you. She hates thanks. you if you don't say Johanny. I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. Because you can actually kill Johanny for dark side points. I have spoken to the Council. And they have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself and the truth of my actions. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my my clumsy efforts. Mm -hmm. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side, to see how easy it was to fall from the path. Interesting of the tactic. Quatra's methods may seem strange, but... Are you alright there, Belea? <laughs> this lesson has been difficult, but I am better because of it. Humility is never easy to teach, but now I truly understand my own limitations. You can't expect to get everything handed to you on a silver platter. After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide. You... When I left, Quatra knew her work with me was bad. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy, and she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The awesome. council now feels I am ready to continue with my training, though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. Giving you a second chance like this is a clear sign of weakness. <laughs> Sometimes I find it hard to believe the Jedi could defeat my people in battle. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. Awesome. Uh, okay, so um, let's go see. I think Elise might be up here. The droid person. I, I took the loss of my droid much too hard. Guy. I feel I must apologize. Damn right. No, there is no but need. But I must. 
I was much too attached to my droid. It was all that was left of my husband, you see. Maybe I thought that through the droid, my husband could live again, be with me still. But I went too far. I could not see what was missing in living a normal life. Fortunately, in my grief, I returned here and ran into Sant, an absolutely fascinating man. Yes, he seems quite nice. Sant and I got to talking, and, well, we have a lot in common. I think we'll be saying more. You've literally been here for 10 minutes. Maybe there's maybe tw such a thing as fate. Maybe 20. But I think we should be going. I don't think it's been 20. We have so much more to talk about. I just wanted to thank you for what you've done for me. And what you tried to <laughs> that was fast. And thank you. Oh, they're off. Nope, see ya. I guess that's it. Oh man. Okay. Let's go speak to the council now then. Uh wait, no. I need to speak to this guy in here. Um but first actually I might just do some lightsaber -y stuff. Uh, let's do my, this lightsaber. We can put a remnant and a bondar symbol. So, yeah, I mean it's all right. It's all right. Okay. Where's Candorus? You have done well, my people. The ancient grove has been purified, and Juhani's journey down the dark path has been halted because of you. She oh, there he is. Once more in the light, but though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side, as are we all. She struck her master in anger during her training and injured her greatly, but it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way, and it seems to have made its point. Juhani has been redeemed. And you have passed your final test. Congratulations, Ooh, good apprentice. Me. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. Nice. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our order. Items received. Which I think are my Jedi robes. They certainly are. That's 11, that's only 10. He's actually wearing better armor than me. Sure. Okay. So what now? Who do I talk to? I bid you welcome once more. I assume you've come so that I might. No. Oh, it whatever. Pleases... Okay, I'm just gonna skip through this. The... Okay, we don't need that. Um, we need to speak to... I don't know who we're going to speak to. Okay, there we go. You, Though a Jedi is ever learning. Even the Masters know their training is but in its infancy. Now is the time for you to seek wisdom outside the training chambers. The lessons that yet await you are to be found beyond the walls of this academy. Huh. You should speak to the Council, Padawan. I'll now speak. that the first stage of your training oh. is complete... I am certain they would be eager to have you aid us in our struggle against Darth Malak and the Sith. Okay, I'm going to talk to uh, it is Vanda. to see Johnny has returned to the way of the light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. Okay. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures. I've already been there. Tantuin. Sort of. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. 
for some questions. I must ever be seeking knowledge. What is it you wish to know? Um. <laughs> Why does Master Brook like me? I knew Revan as a promising young pupil. Revan was strong in the Force, but also headstrong and proud. Such traits are not unusual in a Padawan. Perhaps that was why I did not see the true extent of the danger. Many of the young Jedi admired Revan, including Malak. When Revan set off to challenge the Mandalorians, Malak was the first to join the cause. And when Revan fell to the dark side, it was inevitable Malak would fall as well. You actually find out a lot more about the um, Revan and Malak falling to the dark side in uh, the second game. I'm just going to leave. Uh, we want... We'll take... Yeah, I mean, we'll take... We'll take Bastler. I demand justice. The Central family is a blight upon Dantooine. You must be punished. The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Metale. You must be patient. Your accusations... Your food? No nice. And we do not want... Oops. Mistake. My bad. My son Shen is missing. How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I should only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised Alan Matali we will look into his son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan? You may want to investigate this matter. Okay. If Shen Matali has not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. Let's not allow that to happen. Your study and training are important, of course. Why is he looking at the Rook? They are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in the real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. The task has its own importance. It may also serve to divert our minds for a short time. Something which carries its own rewards. Cool. Okay. Well, yes. Bastila can do some leveling up. I think she's got a couple of levels to get. Um. So she will have these. T yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. Skills, uh, your retreat injury and awareness. And I guess we'll save the one point. <laughs> um, do that. Level up skills. We've got those two. I don't know what else we would want her to do. Unless she does my demolition. Hmm. I don't really know what what else we can put in here, to be honest. She wants, it wants us to do computer use, but why? That seems like a waste. But none of this really helps. Like, we, we'll save the points. Uh, this does double, right? Double bladed, yeah. She uses a double, double yellow. Okay, cool. Um, we want to... Okay, well, that's fine. Can have that. Okay. What? Let's go. Okay, so I'm... Thinking I'm gonna do the um uh, Matali Sandral thing first and then go to the temple place. Bear with me one moment, I just wanna do something quickly. Yeah. 
sorry. Okay, so now I am wearing this, I can actually use this burst of speed to speed things up. It looks weird, but it's quicker. Well done, Bastler. And now I can't move again. Oh no, I can. We're good. Wait, what, what am I doing? I didn't, I didn't want to do this first. <laughs> My bad. Um, wait, was I going to come out here? I, I think, I, no. Uh, not sure. I don't know whether I should have spoken to uh, Alan um, back at the T3. Come on. Oh. Am I stuck? I am stuck. Okay, wait. Am I meant to be investigating here first? I can't remember, actually, if I'm meant to come here first or the other place first. I mean, we're passing by, so we might as well come here first, I guess, seeing as we're here already. I come on behalf of the giant can oh Alan say okay. Will do. So many battle droids. Oh my god, even more battle droids. I'm stuck. <laughs> my protocol droid tells me you are here. That is not a protocol droid. Beginning to think my demands had been ignored, though I think your time would be better spent interrogating the Sanzels as to the whereabouts of my son Shen. Uh, that's because I'm using a, a, uh, a force power. It's, it's trying to emulate the world being super speedy. Many years ago, I brought my family. It's actually better with the mod I've used. There might be a setting to turn it off, or it might be a mod. Oops, sorry. I forget, I can't click out of the game. Yeah, okay, I can't, I can't click out of the game. Recently, I discovered several Sandral droids trespassing on my land. Hmm. What were they doing? I have no idea what nefarious purpose lay behind their arrival. My own assassination, perhaps. Destruction of my property. Maybe a simple spy mission. I wasn't about to find out. My own security droids destroyed the invaders. Not a single one survived. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think the droids were very frightened, T3. It was shortly after this incident that Shen, my only son and heir to the Metali estate, vanished. Obviously, Nurik, the unscrupulous head of the Sandral clan, has abducted my son in retaliation for the destruction of his droids. I'll go speak to him. The resolution possible is the immediate return of my son. Why does the council insist on stalling? We're not stalling. We're stake. getting the information. Yes, of course. Now I understand. Do you? I am a man of the world, Jedi. I know how things are done. 
I will make a contribution of a thousand okay. credits to the council in exchange for rescuing Shen from the sandals. I like the sound of that. I will the credits directly to you, of course. Whether the council ever learns of this donation is completely up to you. The Jedi can't be bought. I will remain neutral despite your attempt attempted bribe. Make it two thousand. Nevertheless, my offer still stands. A thousand credits for Shen's safe return. Know, however, that I will not sit idly by much longer. I cannot be bribed. I will take whatever action is necessary to rescue my son, including raising the entire Sandral estate. Until you find Shen, Jedi, we have nothing further to discuss. I suggest you hurry south to their estate, lest I take matters into my own hands. Never. Okay. Let me just have a look at something quickly. Uh... Wait, turn that back on. Where's that off? Yeah, I don't know why that was off, but okay. Uh, okay, so I think it's a mod then. Um, um, see if I can find it in here. I'm sure it was a thing. Um, apparently there is a way to do it. Okay, apparently this does it. Aha! There we go. Full side. They messed up your drink order? Oh dear. What did they give you? Regular regular coke and serve Dr. Pepper. Oh dear. I'm not trespassing. You're not a big fan of regular coke, but eh, just wanted the caffeine anyway. Fair enough. Thank you. I have been informed by my protocol droid that you wish to speak to me. Of course. Uh, 
Okay. I brought my family here to find peace and safety, not to be harassed and treated like common Whoa. criminals. I'm not harassing, I'm asking questions. Has no authority here. Yes, I do. I respectfully ask you to leave this property at once. Jedi are renowned for their fairness in pursuit of justice. There is nothing to fear from us unless you have something to hide. I trust you will show yourself out. If not, my security droids will be sure to deal with you. I'm not harassing anyone. You are here from the council, are you not? Looking for Shen Metale? Of course. <laughs> my name is Raheja. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassis disappeared. He is mad with grief and they've got their own disappearance. The Metales are responsible. He's of course. thinking rationally. My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. You must understand that father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him, but there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. My father has kidnapped Shen Metale. <coughs> he has. Him prisoner here in the mm. He feels this is a way to get back at the Metales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassis. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. Never. No, since Cassus went missing, my father has become... We shall do the investigation. Stable. He might hurt him if you do that. He no longer even cares if the Metales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I'm we afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. I'm going to find out... I do not know. I am worried for him. I think there is a thing about Cassus. I do not believe Alan Metale has anything to do with it. And now my father may take it out on Shen. Please find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. We will go find Cassus. I will Cassis take you to the prison, though. but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make your escape through there. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. Obi Wan, you're my only hope. What? Please I'll go now. Find Shen. And free him. Okay, you are my but first, <laughs> stop saying that. <laughs> um, first, I think I can find Cassus. Is I think I can find Cassus's body. Cassus's, Cass, Kiss, or whatever. You want to buy like five pounds of these noodles? They good. Now I believe, I believe you can find Cassus's body over this way. Now that we've triggered that, yeah, you really like the texture of them as well. well fair enough. Oh, the cat found a war respawned. Yes, I believe... Oh, no, wait, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you don't find Cassus's body. I'm confused. I'm sure there's a way of finding Cassus and finding that it wasn't... wasn't uh, the Metalis that did it. I'm sure there's a way of doing that. Oops. Wait, bear with me. Oh. You need to go to the far right end of the Metalli grounds, fighting off any remaining cathons. When you get to the valley and on the right side, you'll see you'll find a corpse. Search the corpse to find goods including Cassus's diary. Okay, so I was right. 
but I need to go back. Where is it? You'll need to go to the far right. I mean, I guess. Oh, it's over there behind that tree, isn't it? Oh, no. It, it's literally in these Cathams. Look, there's a bag. Yes, this is this is Cassus. Ooh, a Johnny Light Armor. Cassus's diary though. That's what we wanted. Uh where is it? Cassus diary. This is the diary of Cassus San Sandro, amateur archaeologist. It details his efforts to discover the source of the ancient ruins found across the surface of Dantooine. Upon reading it, you gather that he had found some correlation between the ruins and some Something called the rack. You'll actually find out about that later on. That's funny. Um, now, what did we just pick up? Okay, that's the exact same thing that we're wearing already. But. Let's give it to her. Okay. What? Now, let's go back to the Sandral um, grounds. Because. Oh. Back again, are we? Horned Cathound. Okay, I'm just going to be RB. I'll be right back. back so uh, I can't move okay there's a few Cathan we'll fight on our way through I guess I like that my lightsaber has a chance to stun it's great Am I stuck again? <laughs> okay, so we can make it in through this door here. Oh, sorry. T3, where are you? Come on, hurry up. Because I have burst of speed, I'm faster than everyone else. Whoa. Wait, what? T3? You? That was impressive. That was a very quick fight. Take that. Yeah. Sure. 
Oh, hello. Destroy droid. Oh, I got a level up. Skills, uh, persuade. Feats, uh, master flurry. Whoa. Um, powers we want. I do need this later on, so we'll grab that now. Okay. T3, let's use this. Zero spikes, awesome. I love it when that happens. Okay. Corrupt patrol droid to targeting probe. Sure. I can't see a patrol droid, but thanks. South hallway? Corrupt the uh, targeting system. That's us. Let's not do that. <laughs> uh, we'll do this one. It's cheaper. Because we are running out of spikes. Repair room. Uh, do it again. Cool. Storage room. Might as well do it again. And I don't want to download the schematics. Oh, nice. Sure. These guys got level ups too. Skills, um, we're going to do tree injury and awareness. Gonna, maybe we do just do, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we just put them all in stealth. I don't know what the point of doing that is, though. Skills, okay. Okay, there shouldn't be actually anything left to fight. Oh, never mind, I was wrong. Immediately wrong. Oh, I just got to test out my Master Flurry for the first time. Ooh, what was that? Ooh, we'll take that. Okay, I can't move, though. T3 should be able to unlock this. Sure. Oops. A sonic rifle. Interesting. Come back to this area in a bit. That's Rashi Rashia. Please find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Oh, there aren't many anymore. Yeah, I'm only here for your loot, though. Thank you. Bye. Ooh, a prison key. Okay, nice. I guess we needed that. Oh, <laughs> that's where we just were. There's nothing in here. How boring. Have we already been here? I guess so. 
Okay, so we need to go back through there. Let's go this way. Yes, I know there's a, a mine. We will recover it with T3. What? Um, before I do, I don't know whether I've been into this room here. I have not. I'll just flash through the door. It's fine. <laughs> oh, an advanced med kit. I do need some more healing items. Okay, now whoop, drop my let's drop my mouse a little bit. I'm here. Wait, I, why do I need to bash through this? I was what? gonna say I, I should just be able to open it. Who are you? What do you want with me? Are you working for my father? Sort of. <laughs> Anyone tell you you ask too many questions? I'm here to rescue you. No, I won't leave. It's too dangerous. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia <coughs> is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. Uh, what if we take Rahasia with us? If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who can I imagine think she will. Sandal doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. Why do you care so much about Rahasia? I was taught to hate the Sandals, to think of them as evil and subhuman. But from the moment I saw Rahasia one day in the city, I knew that my father was wrong. She was like an angel. Love at first sight. Seeming to float above the crowds. I don't know what else I could have done but fall in love with her. For months I wooed her and tried to win her heart. I believe I have succeeded, but now you have. this has happened. Our families are always coming between us one way or another. Please Romeo and Juliet. convince her to run away with me. Where was she again? Oops, I did not mean to click that button. What room was she in again? Ah, there she is. What are you doing here? Have you found Shen? Yet? Yes, I have. Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the hall, there's no security droids. Suspicious. I can't risk it. I know Shen would rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. I will wait as long as I can, but you must hurry. Bye. Back to Shen. You're back. Have you spoken to Rahasia? Yes, Rahasia is outside. Not just telling me what I want to hear, but I will have to take that chance. Hurry then. We must not keep Rahasia waiting. Shen, you're safe. Rahasia. Oh, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. Mhm. Mm that would thank be me. Jedi for all that you have done for us. <laughs> no. No, we know that you must have gone to great personal risk to get us out of the Sandral estate undetected. No reward is uh, necessary. Can... Uh oh. We are in the middle of something here. There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matale! Rahasia! Father! Mr. Sandro. Yurik, Alan, <laughs> I knew this was all your doing. I knew you had captured my son. You had taken my Cassus from me long before that. You started it. I don't want to hear any of your excuses. Now I will get revenge for your transgressions. <laughs> ah, da, da, da. Okay, you two just need to calm down. Listen to him, father. Why should I listen to the Jedi? All you want is to remain with that Sandral harlot. My How daughter is dare you. not a harlot, Matale dog. Well, 
Why don't you try listening to your children? Our children don't know enough of what's good for them to make a reasonable decision. It's better to let older, wiser... I don't think you're wiser. Older, yes. Wiser, no. Paige and I don't want you to make decisions for us. We want to live alone away from you. You... you insolent <coughs> boy! If you want to live alone, then so be it. I disown you. Wow. Never set foot in my house again. I don't care. Raheji and I will live on our own if you won't accept us. You will do no such thing. I am your father, and I order you to come back with me. <laughs> what? No, father, I won't. <laughs> that was a 180. You will not leave with this, this Matale boy. I am, father, and you can't stop me. We're leaving for the Enclave. You foolish girl. Do not try to force them. You expect us to just let them leave? Droids, stop them. Hey, what? You will not turn your Whoa. droids on my daughter. Droids, Whoa. don't let them take Rahesha. We appear to be at an impasse then. And they got away. Yes. It is your fault, darling. Do I get to use the Cassus stuff? Good. Me? You were the oh, one who rushed no. out here with war droids. Okay. I will not rest until I have my Shen back. What? The council will hear of the troubles you caused, Jedi. What Indeed a... they shall. What what did I do? Hey, what item did I lose? Oh, probably a key or something. I better not have lost Ca lost Cassius's diary. I need that. Where's Cassius's diary gone? What? Why did I lose Cassius's diary? I needed that. Oh man. Okay. Well, we did what we could with that. We got light side points. How are we looking on the light side points anyway? Oh, we're getting close to maxing it out. Wait, if I look in here, am I able to... Oh, okay, I guess that's it. Like, there's no more to that mission. Interesting, okay, fair enough. Okay, but we need to go to the ruins next, so I'm going to go this way. Fight this Cathound. And get stuck again. Ooh, what a hit. That was good. Okay. We're here at the ruins now. There's the dead Jedi. What language is that? What are you trying to say? Uh, I still don't understand you. I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by ciphering through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phonemes of a language we can understand. Oh. I can reproduce any of the languages spoken by the slaves of the builders. It's good to know that humans weren't slaves. Hey, I understood that. I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? 
Communication was vital to ensure that the slaves constructed this temple according to the wishes of the builders. But you are not of you are not of the slave species. Neither neither are you of the builders. You are like the one who came before. Or the guy who's on the floor over there. What are you? Why are you here? I am the overseer. The builders programmed me to enforce discipline among the slaves while this monument to the power of the Starforge was constructed. At project completion, all slaves were executed. I was reprogrammed to serve should a builder return in search of knowledge of the Starforge. How long have you been here? My chronological circuits have marked over 10 full rotations revolutions of this system's outermost planet around the sun since the builders left would take more than 20, years. that's a long time if this is true then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the republic itself there must be some mistake there is no mistake the builders constructed my chronological circuitry using the technology of the starforge itself my calculations are infallible infallible Infallible? infallible i don't know who are these builders you keep talking about the Builders are the great masters of the galaxy, the conquerors of all worlds, the rulers of the infinite empire, and the creators of the Starforge. These Builders must have been an extinct people, but it is strange there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. Uh, something must have happened to wipe out the Builders. The empire of the Builders is infinite and everlasting. None can stand against their might and the power of the Star Forge. Have you seen this Builder recently? I have been here ever since the completion of this monument. In all this time, no Builder has returned to seek information of, on the Star Forge. What is the Star Forge? The Star Forge is the glory of the Builders, the apex of the infinite empire. It is a machine of invincible might, a tool of unstoppable conquest. But what is it? What does it do? The, the Star Forge is the glory of the Builders, the apex of the Infinite Empire. It is the machine of invincible might, a tool of unstoppable, un unstoppable conquest. The droid is obviously not programmed for yep. the knowledge we seek. The Star Forge sounds like some type of weapon, mm. perhaps. Well, in fact, it could be anything. Could it have been a factory or weapons plant? Maybe. That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet yep. so quickly. But I suspect the Star Forge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. It's because it knows me. Uh, where can we find the Star Forge? Now that the slaves are gone, my purpose is to aid those who seek knowledge of the Star Forge. If they are worthy. The one who came before you. The ones like you, not builders, but not slaves, sought knowledge of the Starforge and its origins. They proved themselves worthy. They discovered the secrets of the Starforge, locked behind the sealed door behind me. But there was another who failed to unlock the secrets and paid the ultimate price. The droid must be talking about poor Nemo. No, Nemo! Sent him here to investigate. Poor Nemo. Did you kill the Jedi over there? I am not programmed for combat. I did not harm the one who failed. The temple's own protections will destroy those who seek knowledge of the Starforge if they are deemed unworthy. How can I prove myself worthy? Enter the proving grounds to the east and west within them. Those who understand the will of the builders can unlock their secrets and open the doors. But those who fail will be destroyed by the power of the temple itself. More than this, I am not programmed to say. Revan and Malak unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Starforge. Now Malak is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest yes. of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have yes. to find a way to unseal these doors to learn okay. more about the Starforge. The Republic is depending on us. Okay, well let's get Nima. Ooh, a new crystal. Um, obviously Jedi Knight robes are better than Jedi robes, so we will wear those. And Bastila can have our Jedi robes. What? Cool. Wait, do we have droid stuff? More droid stuff? No, not yet. Yes. Yes. Okay, so uh, we'll go this way first. Uh, how have I already started combat? We haven't opened the door yet. 
Okay, I'm gonna use this. Then jump over to him. Destroy droid. Oh, well, never mind. He froze me. Bastard, get in there. You shall fall. Oh, come on. Leave me be. No! I got froze again. Stop using powers. Oh my god. It's immune to your powers, Bastila. <laughs> I've been frozen so many times in this fight. There we go. I'm stuck. Okay. Ancient terminal. The ancient computer hums and throbs as you approach it. Its screen flickers to life and a steam... Oh, sorry, a stream of incomprehensible characters scroll across it. Uh, press a button. A new sequence of equally incomprehensible inco characters appears on the screen. Press a button. No, press many buttons at random. No, okay. Talk to the computer. The computer goes silent. Its screen blank. blank. A few extremely unusual characters then appear on the screen. The computer emits a rapid sequence of tones. You hear one of those tones softly echoed by your data pad. A small data recept receptacle opens in the front of the ancient machine. Insert my data pad. The computer seems to be interfacing with your data pad. The screen goes blank again, and then more familiar characters be begin to appear on the screen. Hersky I don't know what any of that means. Press the button. No. Talk to the computer. The computer goes silent again, humming softly. It seems to be processing data from your datapad. Your datapad is released from the receptacle and the machine goes silent for a moment before flickering to life again. Data interpretation complete. Language analyzed complete. Continue. Inter interrogative. Identify the three primary death-giving seed world types. Your fortune cookie shattered rather than splitting in half. Oh dear. What is your fortune though? Okay, so we need death giving. Uh, this is actually bugged. I think this is bugged actually. No, wait, no, is it not? No. Okay, so volcanic. Um, desert. And barren? Planetary type conductive to death. Did I do it? I guess I did it. We're all good. Walk with a good heart, and you will run with success. <laughs> Doubt. <laughs> okay, I'm going to save, just so that we don't have to do that all over again. Okay. Shields up. Oh, my shield didn't, my shield didn't go up. Okay. Let's get in there. Oops. Oh, well. oh my god. I'm on fire. That is so bright. That hurts a lot. Okay, we did it. Ooh, some more droid stuff. I wonder if T3 can have any of that. Uh, okay, so this... Let's do this one. Environmental shield. Huh, fair enough. I don't need to do that, though. We'll just use what we're yes. using. Okay. T3, 
The ancient computer hums and throbs as you approach it. Its screen flickers to life and steam of incomprehensible characters scroll across it. Okay, we know what to do here. Talk to the computer. Insert the datapad. Talk to the computer. Okay. Identify the three primary life-giving seed world types. So, we have grassland, oceanic, and arbo arboreal, I guess? Something like that. Okay, we did it. We passed the tests. And the, the door should open for us. Like so. I don't know what that word means. I just know it's the, the last option. <laughs> this, this must be what Revan and Malik found when they entered this temple. This must be where their journey down the dark side began. What is it? This is a map. It's used to refer to creatures that live in trees. Ah, huh, fair enough. Malik must have used this to lead them to the Starforge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Starforge ourselves. But we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. So what is the Starforge exactly? I don't know. <laughs> Revan and Malik were very I don't know. It. it must be a tool of some kind. Or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the council can tell us more. But I think this map might be the key to finding the Starforge. So if you were to have an arboreal this looks like tarantula, the, the enclosure would need to be tall so they would this have an adequate setup for climbing as they prefer to be off the ground. There are pieces missing. That's why you know that term. <laughs> Fair enough. And there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Starforge itself might be. Perhaps those worlds have more clues. I that too. This map can't take us to the Star Forge, but I know that Revan and Malik visited Corbin at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They Perhaps. may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Star Forge. Find some way to destroy it. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action. Though I suspect our task has only just begun. I suspect. Why do I keep losing items? What? Why? What, wait, that that actually might have said item received. Yeah, actually, that said item received. Okay, back to the council. Can I fast travel? Basta seems to have something on her mind. Perhaps you should talk to her about it. How can I help? You wanted to talk it was about less dream. of a dream and more of a vision. A vision the two of us share. But I am certainly willing to answer any questions the Jedi Council would not. Are you wondering why we shared the vision? Or why we even received it in the first No, why we shared it. To the first, I can only repeat the answer that the council <laughs> gave us. Our fates are linked. And for two as strong as we are in the force, that amounts to a near physical bond. As to the second I truly don't have an answer for you. The Force works as it will, and perhaps we should be grateful for what we've been given. Why did we dream of Malak and Revan? because we desired to. Perhaps because they came to this planet and were strong enough in the Force to leave a, a trace. They did something important here. Of that, I am certain. We already know. We just found the star, the, uh, the star map. For that event, or it may not. We dreamed about Revan and Malak either because we were meant to or because we needed to. There is no other way to look at it. I have no idea. We do. <laughs> we know what they were doing. That is why we must investigate this further. We we just found out what they were doing. Uh, do you think we will receive more of these visions? With luck, we will. I would rather not rely on such visions okay. to guide us. But when we have so little else to go on, and the galaxy hangs in the balance. That's all. As you wish. You really should return our thoughts to business anyway. That was business. Okay, I'm just going to briefly come in here because we have a bit of money. And I want to 
buy some med packs. Um, you just go into my cell list as well. Um, I'm going to keep the armor stuff, but we don't need the sonic rifle or the mines. Okay. I'm sorry. Oops. What do you have? Your droid stuff. Okay, that's fine. Ah, I'm stuck. T3, move. This guy looks rather important standing here. Who are you and why are you standing here? Greetings and blah, 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 blah. Go ahead. Dantooine. His aunt is a considerable trip of my lord. Yes. His young daughter was kidnapped by the Raider. Didn't we already speak to them? This way? Alive. It is not customary for Mandalorians to terminate their captives. It is my hope that Sasha has escaped or been sold into slavery. If so, I may yet, may yet locate her. Um, sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Ah, that's too bad. I shall continue my search. I understand that. They are. I've already sorted that though. Isn't there something the local authorities can handle? Is there anything of interest to tell me? Keep my eye out. Okay. I don't know what whether we have to do anything of that now, or if that happens later. <laughs> that made me jump then. I was like, what's on my screen? It's Bastila and her lightsaber flicking in my face. Uh, I'm just going to briefly go to the workbench here, because I can actually upgrade my lightsaber slightly. Uh, this one. I actually have another. Whoa, that does good damage now. Nice. Okay, assemble. I certainly have. have discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins. No, I couldn't find anything. Yeah, that's a lie. Um, that one. This news of a star forge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi archives to see if there's any mention of the star forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Okay. Padawan, you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi know victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I have consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Star Forge, but all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each I would have to agree. Is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashik, Tatooine, Manam, and Korriban, and we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. Sounds like a suicide mission. No, I am ready. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war, by defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Makes sense. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith. But it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you, for there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. After long deliberation, nice. we have granted her request. Juhani merely fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers True. of that path. There are others I want to join me. Of course, those who aided you on Taris will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember Definitely, especially T3. <laughs> T3 especially. He, he has a lot of skills I need. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi. Nor should you. But the true nature of your mission 
must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. Um, you can count on me. I will not fail. You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy. What does he mean by that, I wonder? Padawan. We pray you are up for the challenge. May the force be with you. Thank you. Okay, so um I just want to do something quickly. We will be ending fairly shortly now. Um, because this is actually a really good point to end, really, because we're pretty much done on Dantooine. Just wanted to see. Ah, yes, here we go. I wanted to find these guys. Raheji and I cannot thank you enough for what you have done for us. Now we will finally have a place to share our love without fear of reprisals from our families. I'm just glad I could help you out. Raheji and I can spend the rest of our lives together. All thanks to you. Good luck to you both. May you find the happiness you deserve. I'm sorry we have nothing of value to give you as a reward. I don't want a reward. Our families have cut us off completely. I just want light side points. Had the council not taken us in, we would be foraging in the wilderness to survive. <laughs> when I first met Shen, I feared our forbidden love was doomed to a tragic end. But thanks to you and the Jedi Council, our story ends in joy. I still don't know. Like, we, did, we weren't able to use the Cassus. Like, information that we got. Like, I don't know when I was supposed to, like... Reveal that information. Oh well. Let's go this way. Let's go to the ship. I think this guy talks to us. Yeah, he does. Padawan, a word, if I may. There are many rumors about your most recent meeting with the Jedi Council. There is talk that they are sending you on a mission to help us against Malak and the Sith. How do you know the Council gave me a mission? I saw you going into the ch Council chambers. You were in there for some time. I naturally assumed the council had given you a task to perform. Please understand that I am not asking you to reveal anything that could endanger the order or the republic. Whatever the task the council has given you is your is for your ears, not mine. I only wanted to wish you well and warn you to be careful. There are many evils out there, many dangers. The Sith are not the only minions of the dark side. What could be more dangerous than the Sith? Master Dorak has been training me to succeed him as as chronicler, chronicler here in the academy. In my studies, I have come across tales of creatures that are born of the dark side, monsters of pure evil. The worst of these abominations is the Terranactic, a beast that feeds off on the blood of those who are strong in the Force. Over the centuries, many Jedi have fallen to their ravenous hunger. Uh, what? It is a predator, and we, and we Jedi are its prey. They are incredibly strong, with the primal cunning. They have an inborn resistance to the Force. There are some who believe that, uh, that it is a monster bred by the ancient Sith. Fortunately, they are quite rare. They only dwell on the most dangerous of and darkest of places. In fact, one has not been seen in nearly 40 years. Sounds like they're extinct. This is not the first time they have vanished for, a long, for long periods of time. Many believe they can lay dormant for years, only to rise and hunt when the power of the dark side waxes fully. Oh, full, sorry. I, I fear Malak's rise may have woken those, these creatures from their dormant state. Once the Sith are beaten, I would not be surprised if the Council organized another Great Hunt to try and exterminate them. The Great Hunt? What's that? The Great Hunt was organized by the Jedi Council shortly after the war against Exar Kun. Jedi were scattered throughout the galaxy, helping to rebuild from uh, the devastation. Many Jedi vanished during the, this period, disappearing from a ver variety of worlds without warning. We did not know they had been slain until their mutilated bodies began to be discovered. The council investigated and discovered uh, the monsters who <laughs> were behind the killings. It was decided the galaxy had to be purged of these insatiable monsters, though the cost proved high. 
So the Jedi just killed these creatures? They are an abomination. They are ruthless engines of death and destruction. The Council had no choice but to destroy them. For the greater good of the galaxy. Many Jedi banded together and journeyed to the planet uh, to the planets that were supposed uh, suspected of harboring these the monsters. <laughs> the great hunt did not rest until all the creatures had been slain. There were still rumors of the monsters on the planet of Korriban, a dark world some believed to be the birthplace of the Sith. That is where Exarkun was corrupted during the first Sith war. They never went they never went to Korriban, the council feared. Fearing m more Jedi might fall to the dark side, declared the great hunt was officially over, though three Jedi were appointed to continue the work. Oh man. The work of killing them? Okay. The Jedi chosen to continue the hunt on their own were Doran Keldorma, Gunhan Saresh, and Sheila Nur. Oh man, I didn't have a chance for that. The council felt that together they would be able to def defeat the monsters they found. And by supporting each other, they could resist the temptations of Korriban in the lure of the dark side. But none of the three survived. Their master felt them become one with the force when they left this, this world. He believed they were slain by one of the monsters they sought. The council felt it was too dangerous to send anyone else in search of these, their remains. So their exact fate is not known. Let their deaths serve as a warning to you, Padawan. Oh my god. Okay, thanks for the warning, I'll be careful. A final warning as you go, Padawan. Do not underestimate the monsters. If you do, you may suffer the same fate as those who disappeared after the Great Hunt. Man, that was a lot of talking just then. Um, we do actually fight some of those in the future. Um, part of this game. So, um, yes. Um, I think I think we find the uh, remains of those people as well. Oh, really? Again? Okay, fine. Uh, is something bothering you? We were so close. What the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. Um, I still don't understand this bond. I don't want to sound rude. All of this sounded really rude. Has been forged between us. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the oh, yeah. Spire, but not in detail. Because you don't know who I am. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. Okay, I'll answer a few well, questions. These are simple questions. Oh, oh man, some of these answers are actually hilarious. What kind of background do you have? Um, I am a hut in human form, plotting to overthrow the Republic. <laughs> I'm sick of answering your question. We haven't answered any yet. Okay, I nothing extravagant. I'm a soldier. On which planet were you born? Kashyyyk. I'm a Wookiee. Can't you tell? <laughs> a hut and a Wookiee. Mm. Um, Derali. Derelia? It's a remote system. Why? Excellent. The current age is. She didn't answer my question. <laughs> Three thousand and twelve. Healthy living, you know. <laughs> Wasn't all this on my service yes. record? The truth is, I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your reactions helped me judge you. This was a test for me to learn more about your character. What did you, you find honest, out? Which is good. And you treated this as a serious matter, which it is. This bond we share will shape both our destinies. It mm -hmm. is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. Yep. So many things You're right. happened recent Taurus. Probably a lot for you to absorb. Mm -hmm. We can speak again later. After you've had time to think about all this. Okay. Bye. Let's get on to the Ebon Hawk. Okay, I'm actually going to um, have a quick run around of the Ebon Hawk and talk to Hawk? my people. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about Terrence. And then we'll end it after that. I still can't believe it's gone. I mean, I grew up there and now it's it's just gone. <laughs> I don't really think there's anything you can say. I just have to find some way to deal with it, I guess. It'll take some time. Look, I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just, it's a shock, you know? I mean, I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's why we need to stop Malak, right? The more time yep. I spend dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. True. I guess that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malik or the Sith, we do. I'll be there for you. 
Hey there, what can I do for you? Um, yeah, let's try and talk to her about Sorry the way I act. Okay, yeah, we can it's do this. just that when it comes to Lena, I tend to get a little worked up. Um, what did she do to you? My brother and me had a good thing going. Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on Terrace, but we got by okay until Lena came and ruined everything. She was a dancer at the cantina where my brother used to go play Kazik. Griff could be a real smooth talker, and it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But hmm. Lena was used to dating rich, Theresian and nobles, guys with mountains of credits. Griff could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. I mean, no matter how much he stole. I'm not going to pretend Griff wasn't a hustler and a con artist. But that doesn't mean you can just insult him. Oops, did sorry. Did to My bad. I didn't mean to. I thought Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was. But for some reason, she stuck around. I guess she saw the potential for a big payday down the road. Uh, so what happened? We've been together for a few months. Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were going to try and make their fortune off world. He promised as soon as he made enough credits, he'd come back and get me. And we all live like royalty. That was two years ago. Oh I haven't seen him since. I don't even know where he went. Yikes. Maybe something happened to him. Oh, I know what happened. <laughs> as soon as she got him off Taurus, Lena sunk her claws into Griff's butt good. She twisted him around her little finger and made him forget all about me. I know I'll probably never see Griff again. Part of the reason I came with you was to hope that I could find out what happened to my brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, sure. Um... Okay. Nope. Okay. Hey there. What can I do for you? Ah, here we go. I need you to make a security swipe. No problem. Just so happy. Uh... Nope. Nope. Basically, you can get free items from these guys. Okay. I don't have one handy right A little now. bit. Okay, so we got some free security spikes. Um, let's see if she. Okay, no, she won't talk about any more of that. Okay, that's mission done for now. Um, Candorus, you're next. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, stimulants. Oops, what did I just say? I remember oh, it well. I thought I was doing spikes. Um, its defenses just stirring, as was tradition. I didn't mean to do spikes. I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me, my heart racing with fear of the coming battle. I didn't. What happened next? I don't want to insult him. And the air was sucked out of the drop base, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. Those droids are sure are something. The euphoria I felt as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons, was unmatched. An 80-kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion wow. from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. Nice. I <laughs> wonder Basilisk Quadroid. That that was some fight. I'll never forget those times. But things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. But I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I satisfied your curiosity for now. Is yes. there something else sure. you want to know? Um I actually wanted to send me on. Uh, basically, I do this so I can get extra money. Because I can sell the things that they give me. Because they'll basically only give you... Some, 
But let me give you some uh, the stuff if you don't have any in your, or don't have many in your inventory already. Um, basically, once you hit a, a, an amount of it, they will won't give you any more. So you can go sell them and then ask them again; and they can give you more. Um, let's see if we have any more stories. You want another war story, huh? You want to hear about some other world getting wasted? Eh? I knew you were the type. Your stagnant republic has never seen some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the outer rim in those years. <laughs> and you never will now. If a world isn't strong enough to defend itself, it's basically forfeit. But this story is about something a little different. We were going through the asteroid fields of the Christian system at the very edge of the galaxy, playing with the pirates and smugglers we found there. The main belt in the Christian system consists of mainly small rocks covered in frozen methane gas shells, and the pirates were using them for cover. <laughs> I remember using a thermal generator to cause the outer layer of one of the asteroids to vaporize in a picosecond. It blew what on earth is a picosecond? Using it for cover. That sounds but like a really like short amount of time. The asteroid I had targeted was smaller than most, maybe a dozen meters on a side. On the outside, it looked the same as any other, just a ball covered in frozen gas. But something must have been inside it. Something you forgot that was Coke and took a drink? Cold. Were you surprised? The blast might have triggered something or woken something up. After I'd hit it, spots of light and heat appeared all over the thin Your brain and tongue were not ready for that. <laughs> what lay underneath looked like some sort of rocky <laughs> growth a deformed rock pitted by scores of micrometeorite scars i think something even older might have been inside that it started rotating faster and faster as we watched it after a second it started spraying fire thermal projectiles that melted our armor like wax wow. we were caught completely by surprise before we could counterattack it fled at an incredible speed we couldn't catch it, but we could follow its hyperspace wake. We followed its trail as far as we could, heading away from the galactic core. When it finally led beyond the edge of our galaxy, we abandoned our efforts. Anything that wants to commit suicide in that great void is not worth our mm -hmm. trouble trying to catch. That's True. the only story I have for now. I'll tell you some more stuff later if we get the chance. Is there something else you want to know? Your choice. Okay. Yeah, what do you want? More war stories? I don't have as many strange stories like the last one I told you. But I do have a couple about me and the stuff I've done. In one battle right. above the world of Althea, my unit managed to defeat a force of Althea ten times our own size. That battle gained me command of an entire subset of my clan. Tell me the story. For five days they had managed to hold off our forces, keeping us to the outer rings of their world, preventing us from attacking it directly. My task was to assault one of their flanks with a false attack. The Altheory would be drawn out by the units I had sent in. Once they had surrounded those units, the bulk of my forces would attack from the rear and defeat them in detail. Ah, did it work? Things didn't go as I had planned. They never seemed to, Kandras. They never seemed to do that. They had made in the disposition of their forces and took it. While fending off our main force, they had let their fleet split in two. The center of their entire fleet was left exposed. I turned my forces and assaulted the center of their fleet, decimating them. You were a great warrior, Gunnar. Their slow, ponderous ship could not turn to face us without being overwhelmed. The command vessels were destroyed in seconds. Their ranks were thrown into chaos. It was amusing to watch the surviving ships <laughs> scatter and flee. Several even tried to dive through the plane of the rings to escape us. They were shredded by the rings or crashed into rocks or were destroyed by our forces as we pursued them. Warriors do not flee from a battle if they are losing. They fight to the end, as we did against your Jedi Revan. Another time, maybe, I'll tell you about how the war with the Republic went. For now, let's just get on with things. Is there something... Uh, let's see if he has any more yeah, what do you right mean? now. I think I'll tell you a bit about the oh, recent okay. war we had with the Republic. I thought he wasn't that actually going to talk to us about this yet, but you will. The one where Jedi Revan beat my people. We started by conquering worlds outside the Republic. 
We did it quietly so the Republic wouldn't really know what was going on until it was too late. When we finally did hit the Republic worlds, they had no idea we were coming. We came in through three invasion corridors in adjacent sectors. Anyone who put up a fight, or wouldn't fight, was crushed. We raised whole worlds trying to provoke the Republic into fighting us. I don't particularly <laughs> enjoy wiping out worlds for its own sake. But the cowardly tactics the Republic defenders used left us little choice. What do you mean? Hiding in the homes of civilians, oh. using families as shields. Oh dear, we would that's not, not good. appropriate force on their bases inside major cities. They underestimated our resolve and what measures are acceptable in war. Those who cannot defend themselves should not be around those who can in battle. If annihilating a city is the kind of power it takes to overwhelm a Republic shield device, then that's what we did. Necessary force to that destroy is awful. all opposition. That's not, no. I have no time or patience for cowards. They deserve Sorry. to be hunted down and exterminated wow. like vermin. There was no honor in wiping them out like rats. That was very aggressive Some just then. Some of your then. forces did redeem the Republic in our eyes. Especially later. <laughs> you mean when we kicked your tails? Later, when Revan had joined the war. But we'll get back to that. We've wasted too much time already. Oh. Is there something else you want to know? Yeah, tell me more about this. You're... Is he actually going to keep going? Yeah, what do you want? We fought against the Republic huh. forces for Maybe some do it all. Time. Maybe I'll stop after this one. Many battles. I didn't realize he'd actually start, do it all. Not much of a threat to speak of. But once the Jedi Revan took charge, things began to turn against us. The Republic fleets began to use more than just basic tactics. Feints, counterattacks, mass deceptions. Revan was a genius on the field. Revan abandoned worlds of their defenders so that others would be too fortified to strike and was willing to make sacrifices in order to advance goals. And in the end, Revan proved too much for us. Uh, you couldn't have won against the whole but galaxy. It was close. So close. It looked like the entire galaxy was within our grasp. I still remember that final battle in the skies above Malachor V. The two fleets filling the space around it, outshining the stars. It was not your ships or your men or your vaunted fight for freedom that won this, the final battle of the war. It was by the actions of one person, the <laughs> Jedi Revan, that you prevailed. His strategies and tactics defeated the best of us. Even Mandalore himself was taken aback by the ferocity of his attacks, the tenacity of his defenses, and the subtleties what? of his plan. The subtitles didn't have those words in there. Still, and then began pushing back. We really didn't have a chance. It was what we had wanted all along, in a way. We wanted to fight the best in a battle that would be remembered for centuries. Fair enough. And we did. And Revan won. I don't hold a grudge against Revan, and neither do any of my people. It was the greatest moment of my life to be in that battle. If Revan had been a Mandalorian, nothing in the galaxy would have stopped <laughs> us. But wishing for the past to be different is useless. Better look to the future, as we should now. We'll talk more later, I think. Okay. Is there something we won't... You want well, to I'll know? just check. I'll see if there's any... If you, if, like... Yeah, what do you want? Okay, there are there is more by the looks things, but we won't talk to him now. We'll talk to others first. Um, I actually haven't properly explored the Evan Hawk yet in this save. Emergency foods. There's nothing in there. Nothing in that one. Is there anything in any of these? Empty containers. So many empty containers. It appears to be some type of hidden smuggling compartment. Without proper codes, you will not be able to open it. Okay, maybe later we will, though. Oops, I didn't mean to use that. My bad. Okay, nothing here. Okay, T3. Can you construct a programming spike? Oh, I forgot, you have to do this like one at a time. It's really annoying. I 
don't know what programming spikes actually are, to be honest. I can't remember if they're computer spikes or... Um, repair spikes. Uh, oh. Trying to see if there's any, like... <laughs> okay. What are, what are program spikes? Like, what are these? What did I just get given? Computer spikes, maybe? Maybe it's a bit of both. Maybe it's, like, random. Okay, Zalba. Is there something you want? Uh, I want you to make a grenade. Uh, grenade. 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 I've already got a bunch. Okay. Have you anything more to say about yourself? I will honor my life debt, but I don't feel like more. Okay. Then I'll leave you be. Okay. But there was something else. Want your help? Unless you want someone threatened or bashed in, you should ask somebody else. Okay. Fine. Nothing more with Zalba. Juhani. Also, we haven't. I haven't done anything with Johanna yet, because she's only just joined us, so there might be a little bit of stuff to do here. <laughs> wow. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes. And in my own. Uh, I forgive you. It is most reassuring to know that you can forgive me, even though I tried to take your life. I can only hope that, in our time journeying together, I will succeed. I'm sure you will, Johnny. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Uh, she doesn't give you. She doesn't make anything or give you anything. She just talks. What is it you would like to speak to me? About? I think. How I came to be a Jedi, I am sure you would not find it very interesting. Well, that would be where you're wrong. Like to hear? Yes, please continue. It goes back a number of years. Back on my home world, we did not see Jedi very often, especially where I live. Behind Endor space, a pit of a world, to be sure, where Jedi rarely pray. But we had thought of them. Well, everyone had, so that is not to be unexpected. Champions of truth. Defenders of justice, heroes of the Republic. It was very easy for a child to be enthralled by their image, their mystique. Maybe I was one of those children. Yes, yes I did. When I saw a Jedi for the first time, they lived up to everything my imagination <laughs> had created them to be. I was awed, or maybe a little enamored. They were quite striking, especially the tales of their leader. From that moment on, I knew that I would have to try to become a Jedi. H how do you, lift myself you can't out do that? Rat I've been living in for years. And Unless you're force sensitive. As the Jedi would. <laughs> the foolish delusions of a child. But this child made it happen. As soon as I was able, I left my world and went in search of them. I found them and was accepted. I had been living my dream on Dantooine for several years before you came. Although, perhaps I was not entirely ready for it. Or not completely suited to the task. Otherwise, I would not have fallen. But thanks to you, I have been redeemed. Perhaps I may yet live to see that dream of mine come true. Come, there is much we should do. Let us not waste time talking. Action is what is needed. Yeah, but I want to know, know about you. What is it? Are you doing right? I, I thank you for your concern, but I am still a bit shaken. Why? What's wrong? I have been thinking about myself, about Katra, and about my fall to the dark side. I keep thinking that it was my anger that drove me that far, that nearly damned me. I look inside myself now and I can still see it. I still feel it. More time would do me good. Time to distance myself from that anger. I think that is why the council agreed to send me with you. They think perhaps that in your company, I will be able to free myself from it. Don't you worry, we will do it. Uh, 
Uh, there we not come here begging for scraps from you. None of those options were good, okay? That was not my fault. Just how valuable I am. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to offend you like that. Okay, we've got nothing more with her. Okay, two more people. We've got Bastila and Gar Ooh. Yes, I I know. Okay. Bastila. How can I help? I do. How did you know? We have a connection. I'm a Jedi. I am far too disciplined to betray my emotions with outward physical displays. We both know the real reason you have some idea of what I'm thinking, the bond we share. Maybe. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels, and what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blink once for Dark Side, twice for Light. I don't think there's much you can do. If things were different, I would recommend several years of training under one of the Jedi Masters. But I fear that won't be possible. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. Mm -hmm. I certainly have. We maintain these traits in the future. We, we will. Don't worry. The influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. That's good to hear. Without the proper training, however, I'm afraid you will find the path difficult, even with the best of intentions. There's great danger ahead for both of us. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. Hey, and the other way around. Ooh, that's... I don't do anything to hurt you. It works both ways, doesn't it? You could help me stay strong. I don't know. I don't know which one of these to go for. I, I won't do anything Believe to hurt you. Really you we'll do that say. one. For now. Sometimes it is not so easy to keep such promises. Your power could be a gift or a curse, and you need guidance or advice or support. I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. Thanks. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return. Yeah, to I'll help you through the dark times as well. Okay. Can I help? Any more? No more. Okay. Karth, your turn. Yes, what's on your mind? Uh, I want to discuss what do you want to discuss? <laughs> I knew you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your Too facility right. with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't exactly. mean I'm going to stop watching you being no. I'm just not. I'm a Jedi. Jedi. Period. Maybe so, but... I've been betrayed before by people I, well, I just won't have that again, that's all. Uh. I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. Uh, what? <laughs> this one. So you can stop wondering, I'm not. <laughs> I don't need someone around me who doesn't trust me. So leave. Be on your own. It's obviously on that. Should I want to talk about it? There. No, I don't want to talk about it. But I want us to save the galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? What? Why Cause do I you want you to be my friend. We don't have time for this. So can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. Yeah, and I want to talk. Yes, what's on your mind? Oh, you never mind. Okay, so. We have a look at the galaxy map quickly. Um, my ga galaxy map is actually in a ca like a different like way, um, and we should have yes, we do. We have Yavin. This is not in the normal game. This is a mod. Um, this is probably where we'll go first at the start of the next stream, um, just to do that stuff, and then we'll go actually into the main game after that. Um, but we are going to end it here for now. Um, 
Uh, so we will be back to this next Friday, I think. I don't, I think, I don't think there's anything that should stop us streaming next Friday. Um, can't think of anything off the top of my head. I'm just going to check the football just in case, but I don't think we'll play on Friday. But just to be safe. Friday. Nope. Okay, cool. So, yes, we will be back to this on Friday next week. Uh, where, we, Like I say, we'll go to Yavin. Uh, there's not much to do on Yavin. There's only a small little thing to do. So we probably won't be there for that long. Um, but we will then uh, head into the actual main game after that. Um, but before that, obviously, we have got stream a stream tomorrow, which will be some more shiny hunting. We are currently hunting for Wooper uh, via Masuda method. And that will be at 9 p.m. UK time. So join us for that if you want to see us do some shiny hunting. Uh, there is no stream on Sunday or Monday. Um, Monday, obviously, is our Monday off anyway. But Sunday, there is football on, so I will be watching that, unfortunately, uh, meaning no stream. And then on Tuesday, we will be potentially continuing the Pokedex completion or starting black and white, black or white. Um, it's yet to be seen. Which one we'll be, we'll be doing. Uh, it depends on how much of the decks I get complete over the weekend um, in my own time. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. It's been fun. Oh, I do really love this game. It's uh, really a favorite of mine. Just So it's, it's nice to play it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. And um, I shall see you all in another stream. So, um, yeah, thank you all for being here. I shall see you next time. Thanks again, and goodbye.